All right, hello, and welcome everybody back to another Flight Sim Fan video. Uh, we're back in DCS world today. Very quick video today on how to improve your DCS VR settings. The age-old question of how to get max visuals for max performance. So uh, I'm going to do a video on what works for me. Uh, I'm sure I'll get a lot of comments say that's not how you do it or whatever, but it works for me. I get about four high 40s to high 40s in multiplayer servers. And I run, a Re I run a Reaper G2, and it's smooth online, so that's all I care about, and it looks good for me, so that's all I, that's all I really care about. So um, I'll post my description specs, and let me know if the video helps. I'll have some tips and tricks before we get into it. It'll be DCS settings, NVIDIA control panel settings, process lasso, which I don't know if a lot of people touched on before, and uh, maybe a little more if I think of something. Settings-wise, this is what I'm using. Again, I got 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's at default clock. I can't. Uh, I can't. Uh, I can't run them at the correct 3600 because my CPU <laughs> blows up. <laughs> so uh, they're just at default. But the, the the size is there. 64 gigs. So I have everything to the right here. You can copy my settings. You can do a variation of my settings. Whatever you prefer. Um, and this is what works for me. So you can pause that and take a look. VR wise, that's what I got going. And that's it for DCS settings. I'll exit out of here. The next thing we're going to look at is Process Lasso. Now I think I shouldn't have closed DCS because now it won't appear. Uh, but Process Lasso allows you to do the uh, set different power management modes and CPU priorities and things. And you, uh, you can do this through Task Manager, but through Task Manager you have to do it every single time. Whereas as soon as you start the game, uh, Process Lasso will do it for you. So, for example, uh, let's see if I can go to all processes and type in DCS. It usually doesn't appear. Okay, it doesn't. The easiest way to get this to work is you'd open up your DCS. And, <coughs> sorry about that. <coughs> Once it's open, it'll appear in active processes. You're then going to go ahead, right-click DCS. C priority for me, always set to high. Okay, I.O. priority always set to high. Application power always high performance. Now I can't do that because I haven't purchased it and I'm out of the free trial day, but that's what I would do. Um, and memory I can't do either because I've purchased it. So that gave me a lot uh, better performance, uh, at least from what I can tell. Um, using the sim. I did this uh, without it for about uh, two years and I just used it the other day and I was getting great performance so I'm going to deduce that this is what did that. Could be wrong but uh, yeah so there's a bunch of different stuff you can go ahead and mess with. I wouldn't get too crazy with it but I just checked, uh, did CPU priority to high, IO priority to high and if you can do the if you do the power for your free trial or if you paid for it um, you can do high performance memory stuff as well uh, okay <clears throat> that's it for process lasso lastly I changed my uh, NVIDIA control panel settings if you can't find it you'd go down to the right uh, you can either type it in or down to the right right click NVIDIA and control panel <clears throat> and I'll bring it to my other screen here once it loads uh, Program settings, so, so it should be a managed 3D settings by default if it isn't managed 3D settings. Program settings and digital combat simulator. If it's not there, you can press add and then you can just search for it through your desktop or through the uh, through the browse. To, uh, you'd have to go to the bin folder. I think I can show it by doing it. Uh, da, da, da. So if it's not in here, you can go browse and then it'd be PC, wherever your whatever the drive is, I have one called DCS and stuff, which is my D drive, so it's only DCS really. DCS World, Open Beta, Bin, and then it'd be the application, that guy right there. Once you're set up, uh, this is the settings I've used. So um, you can, I'll make this full screen. You can pause again uh, for the first couple, and I'll I'll run it down. So application control, enhance the application settings two times on anti-aliasing setting. I'll run down a little bit. Uh, 
and that's I'll actually get a little bit more. That's pretty much what I've used. So for virtual uh, reality pre-rendered frames, uh, I believe lower numbers are good for less RAM. But if you have 3264, you can probably crank that up. I've been on three, so three was working for me. I, I'm not going to go anymore. Uh, I pretty much use the settings from a guy that I found as well, so I'll link them uh, in the description as well. Uh, that might help. And yeah, sure, apply. I didn't really change anything, but go ahead. Uh, that's it. That's what helped me um, with my DCS VR. Lastly, in OpenXR tools, I run this at 100% with automatic or uh, yeah, motion reprojection. I find disabled doesn't work as well personally for me. Um, this is what I currently use. I do nothing with OpenXR toolkit. I don't run FSR. I don't run NIS. I don't do that. It makes it look fuzzy in my eyes. I just it doesn't look as well. So I don't touch that. You can if you want. Uh, and lastly, lastly, last thing to try, uh, by the way, if you haven't, this is for people that are on OpenXR already. So if you don't know what OpenXR is, I made an OpenXR how to get onto it. So you can bring your Reverb G2 from Steam VR to OpenXR, and it makes the game already run better just by doing that. That's a separate video I can link as well. Okay, and lastly, what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to your C drive, which is where mine is at least, users. Uh, the name of the computer, save games, DCS open beta, uh, backup, I'm actually going to clear that right now, I don't need that, uh, FXO, delete these, and delete Metashaders too. So FXO and Metashaders, as soon as you start the game up, will remake the folder for you. So it might just take a t couple seconds longer to start the game, but they're going to remake the folders. I found when I do this every once in a while, it just makes the game kind of run a little bit nicer for me. Um, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you get more performance. If you do, let me know. Process Lasso should be a big help for it, I hope. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.